for um, the specific intersegmental motions of the cervical spine. Um, so let's say, for example, C4. So I'm going to find C4 by palpating the occiput and then moving inferiorly till I find the first spinous process, which is C2, and then moving down to C3 and then down to C4. Um, that would be the next one. If I move out laterally from there, so I'm just going to turn them to the side so you can see. So if I move out laterally, I'll be on the articular pillars, and that's mostly where I want to palpate. So I'm going to keep them in a neutral position and just palpate anteriorly with a pressure anteriorly to feel if that vertebrae likes to rotate one way or another. And I can tell that it likes to rotate more to the right because there's more of a posterior prominence on the right than there is on the left. I would then check side bending by translating from left to right. And so if I translate, if I kind of translate to the left, then I feel more freedom of motion than when translating to the right. So I would say he is side bent right as well as rotated right. And now we're going to check that in flexion and extension. So I'm going to bring him into flexion down to C4. And I'm going to bring him back into extension. And I do believe that improves with extension. So we want to see it get more neutral. Um, that would be his ease of motion. So the prominence decreases when I bring him into extension. So therefore showing that that vertebrae or vertebral segment really likes to be extended. So his final diagnosis is C4 extended, side bent right, rotated right. So to treat that with muscle energy, I'm going to bring him to his barrier. So I'm going to flex him down to C4. I'm going to side bend him to the left and rotate him to the left just until I feel motion at C4. And then I'm going to move my hand to the lateral side of his head, um, temporal bone, and I'm going to ask him to try to push back and side bend to the right and rotate to the right back to his ease. So go ahead, push back this way. One, two, three, and relax. And then I'm going to bring him to his new barrier until I feel motion at C4 again and push back one more time. One, two, three, and relax. And I'm going to side bend him to the left, rotate him to the left, and flex him a little more until I feel motion at C4. More time. One, two, three, and relax. We'll bring him to his new barrier one final time. And then push back one more time. One, two, three, and relax. We'll give him a final stretch into the barrier and bring him back to neutral. And then we'll reassess. We'll repeat that process to make sure that the dysfunction has improved. And indeed, I do feel more symmetry, um, less of a prominence on one side, and I do feel more ease of motion in both planes symmetrically with rotation and translation.